Episode 12, The Sax is Scary! What's happening, people? This is Calham64 here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. Last time, in the previous episode, <laughs> I just repeated it then, we got to the habitation deck, unlocked the door to free some animals, and got power bomb data, which is very handy. This episode, we will be going further by going deeper into Sector 5. And we'll be encountering something very disturbing. I think you already know what I'm thinking, though. And it won't be good what you have to do. My camera has not fell down in ages. I actually don't mind that that happened. But anyway, yeah. With that, let's just get on with the show. Which is simply, go out here. And now with POM bomb data for some reason, we can now go through here. And when we go in here, however... Oh, we so don't like this bit! It's the sax, and this is... It's just scary. You have to run away from it. Look, I'll show you. See? When he goes that way, you think he's gonna go out, right? Right? Well... You can still hear the footsteps, right? Yep, he comes back! No, oh, This is really not gonna go good. Ah! Oh god, the spotlight almost got me. Okay, this bit, you wanna be really fast. Which is simply use your smart bomb. And get out of here! Oh god, this bit's scary! Oh, I don't like this accent. Luckily it short-lasted. There we go. <laughs> oh god. I just overreacted there. Big time. Anyway, with that, let's now go get another bomb data thing by blowing through here. And That's what she said. <laughs> Power bomb tank acquired. Oh god, sorry, it's just that bit's... It's just scary. Oh god. So let's just lay a power bomb and get out of here. Because I did not like that one bit. And I want to lay another one just to be sure. And you can tell the sax has been here because if you look, there's a destroyed gate. Oh god, no! Okay, if I'm here a while, I am going to either speed this up or cut it. So, see you guys in a bit. If I fail. Well, wouldn't you know it, I did not have to do any editing there at all. We have got it, without any failures. I'm starting to get used to, used to the controls of this whole recording ow, sort of thing. But yeah, good thing I bombed there as well, or I would have missed that item. And I don't want that. But anyway, with that, we won't be encountering the sex for a while, luckily. Sorry if I, like, blew up your ears there from, like, screaming. And get out of here! But I can't help it, that thing's bloody scary. Seriously, I, 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 I just... <laughs> I, I know it's a good idea to the story and all, but it's just scary. And I'm, I'm not saying that's bad. Of course, I freaking love the sax. Yeah, I know, it's a bad villain, but I still like it. I mean, you get to see its personality and see that it is dangerous, and you feel very intimidated, meaning... This game has a lot of atmosphere and emotion put into it. Oh, and you see these? You can now blow them up with smart bombs, which is very handy. And yeah. And also, there'll be another one up here, and we could not go in here. Oh, sorry, we could not get past without it. So, ow. Now we will, and that's why I didn't show it in other episodes. So, those of you who thought, hey, why didn't you go through there? Well. Because I didn't have the wrong thing. No! Oh god. This is gonna take forever. So I. I'm gonna edit this bit. Because. Oh god, I just tell ya. Ah! Oh god, this is. Ugh. Still. Yep, see, this. We're gonna be here forever. Yep, you have to make your way through here without touching the goddamn floor. This is very annoying indeed. So let's just go through here. Luckily, I made it. 
and I will see you guys in a bit when I actually do this right. You're kidding me! No! Second time! What is it with me today? I just seem to be doing amazing at these sort of things. I guess I'm just getting the hang of it because I'm practicing. What well, to be honest, I didn't even practice on that one. That was just luck. Eh, oh well. Well, but we got it, so yeah. <laughs> Let's just get out of here and wait for these things to blow up. But anyway, with that, we have to get back to. Whoops. Navigation room. And just so you know, there's a red door up there, and that's why I didn't go in there, because we haven't unlocked the hatches yet, and that's not until later in the game. Or should I say we're... Actually, yeah. Mom, I can't really remember. Are we near it or not? We will find out. But anyway, let's go climb up and get out of it. Oh, and this part of the game, by the way, is where you may find yourself actually doing more than just entering sectors and acquiring data. Trust me, we're going to be doing a lot more exciting stuff. That's what makes Metroid Fusion stand out to me. You know, all, of, all the variety it gives to you and all of that. Ow. God, why is it any time I do really well at speaking, some asshole of an enemy has to come and just ruin it? Oh well. Anyway, with that, let's go recharge ourselves by putting our guns into this thing. <laughs> that sounded really weird and wrong. So, game... And talk to the traitor. Samus, return to your ship. I have important information. Oh no! Oh god, I know what's gonna come up next. Trust me, when you hear that, you're like, you have to go back to your ship. You know what you're gonna be fighting. Oh god. But I don't mind it, really. Like I say, stuff is. Really, really annoying and really, really scary in this game, but I still love it. I mean, that's what makes the game good. You know, the atmosphere and stuff. <laughs> I don't really like talking about the game too much. But anyway, with that, we want to go up through the elevator. But now... The power's shut off! Very convenient indeed. But anyway, let's just go through here. By going through here. Oh god. Alright, <laughs> I thought that was going to last forever then. This bit is annoying. So I'm going to use my power bomb because there'll be nothing there. I think it's in the other room. Yeah. There's actually a missile upgrade you can get in here. And if you look, it looks like you can bomb it. Wrong. You can just go through it. So don't bother with that. And look, it's Ridley and... I don't like the look of that. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh no. I've just awoken him. That's just bad. Anyway, with that, let's now fall down here. And now he was our power bomb. So yeah, with that, yeah, Ridley's awakened. I Meaning we're going to be fighting him. Great. Still, let's just bomb through here. And fire. And we have got a power bomb tank acquired. P power bomb capacity increased. Don't know why I went increased for some reason. But anyway, let's get out of here. By simply going across here. And yeah, I'm going to jump through. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm just gonna use the power bomb. Because these guys are really bloody annoying. I keep saying, I keep saying bloody at the moment, don't know why. So we're gonna run. And here we go! Spine Shark! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why I was doing that before, because otherwise I'd have to go back in there and fight all the enemies again. You know, all that stuff, and that would have been really annoying. But anyway, let's now get a missile tank, which is very handy. And I think now we've got over 200. I might have said that before, but... Hey. I just keep saying, but... Hey. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. But still, let's now head to the ship, like he says. And when we get to the ship, you also find that it saves data as well. And I just ended there through Spine Shark. See? Save data. Save complete. The main silo. Or silo, I don't know, of the reactor core has gone offline. That's why all elevators and station systems are down. Elevators and hatches won't work. This doesn't bode well. If you can get to this point, you may be able to start the auxiliary power system. 
Then we can figure out why the main silo went offline. Is your objective clear? Yes. By the way, I asked you to return here to tell you. Some strange creatures have boarded your ship. I confirmed that they were not ex-hosts, and gave them a berth. Do you know anything about these strange creatures? Were they the source of the healthy biosigns earlier? Very well then, their presence in the midst of this disaster must have some significance. I will keep them here. Alrighty, so, since he found these uh, strange creatures, he's going to be keeping them there for now. And for now, we have to go to the malfunctioning unit, I think. So we'll be going there and kill these stupid things. Now let's just go through here, and you'll notice we need a power bomb. So when we lay it, we can access it, and those things are screw attacks. I might turn this down. There you go, that's a bit better. It was a bit loud before, but with that, yeah, those things that we saw before, if you remember those uh, bee-like things, which were moving and pretty uh, paralysed, you could say, well, they're dead. <laughs> I don't know why I just laughed at that. That was terrible. That's, I'm so cruel. God, I mean, I like the things. Anyway, let's go through here with really intense music and fall down to the bottom and you'll notice a room in here that we can't go in so let's just keep going down and to be honest um, we're at a safe room which doesn't work great so yeah we have to go to wherever it is so we'll be going there, <laughs> and we just want to quickly go up here, oh actually no wait no, hang on wait what, <laughs> don't know what the heck I'm seeing, yeah we want to go up here, just keep climbing up, I'm get, trying to get used to these controls and keeping the camera stable, and go through here because we encounter these space pirates and just kill them with missiles or beams or anything, I don't know, and with that there's another one, so we want to keep killing him, just keep hit them three times with your missiles and they'll be dead and now we have an energy tank and it's been about 13 minutes or 12 or something I don't know and I think I'm gonna end this episode off right here in a very uh, weird moment really I'm in the middle of a hatch where I got an energy tank I mean who else would stop there still in the next episode of Metroid Fusion we will be going further and fighting a new boss, which I really am going to hate fighting. Especially in this sort of type of recording. So, take care people. And I will see you in the next episode of Metroid Fusion.